Hello everyone, peace be unto you. I want to talk about one of our many issues that we face, and it's praying. But before we start, let give a, let's give an honor to our Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior. Now, um, I am a Caribbean person, Jamaica to be exact. Um, when I was growing up, I remember praying at least six times every day. We pray when we wake up out of bed. We pray before school begin. We pray before we eat lunch. We pray after school is finished. We pray when we get home before we eat our dinner. And we pray at night before we go to bed. That's just to name um, some of the standard prayers that we pray. Now, mass shooting and killing. Never dream, read, or hear about that happening in the Caribbean, at least Jamaica. Now I'm living in the United States and it's happening ever so often. Now, America said that they are, are the free world of religion and they are more Christian society than anywhere, anywhere else. However, the Muslim society they pray at least five times a day. And anywhere you go in that society, you see, um, you see and hear about the Muslim religion. If you go to um, China, where they began the Buddhism, you, um, you, you see it down there. They don't hide it. Um, the, the Indian, they um, call him Krishna. Um, they, they, they don't hide their religion either. But in America, I, um, I have a talk with a few um, young kids the other day, and they told, they, they told me that um, they don't pray at school. There's no Bible in school. There's no religious education in their school. Now, that's sad because it's one thing I know that um, if you build a house and, and a foundation that is weak, it's going to come tumbling down no god should be the foundation of any one life and if we are living in a christian society you should not be ashamed of teaching your kids about um jesus teaching the kids about um christianity teaching the kids about the bible because these kids have no fear for nothing and i i know that when you start um Learn the Bible. You, you develop fear of righteousness. The righteousness will come inside of you knowing that you have to do good. You understand? And praying is what we don't teach our kids. We don't teach our kids how to pray. Some of us might teach the kids at home, a handful, but majority are not teaching their kids. No, prayer is like a bulletproof vest that you put on before you leave your house. Prayer is communication to God. And think about this. A lot of people only go to God when they need stuff. No, if you have a friend that only time you see them or you hear from them is when they're asking you for stuff. You're going to start hide from those people. You're going to start to not want to see those people. The Bible said... Call on me at all times to good and bad. That's what God is telling you to do. Now, if you only call on God when you need stuff, what do you think going to happen when calamity or problem come your way? I mean, he is a forgiving God and he is a, a God that um, is very loving. But you are to do what's right, which is communicate with him, pray on him, just Thank him like, Lord, I'm, I'm thanking you for being our creator. Just like that, out the blue. Just like that. Remember, the beginning of knowledge and wisdom is fearing God. And if you think about knowledge like a pinata full of candy, when you start tapping to that pinata and it bursts open, it's going to have all the candies fall on the ground and you can enjoy it. It's just like the Bible. Start tapping into the Bible.
and all the knowledge and wisdom gonna come out in your head so you could enjoy it. Peace be unto you. Love you guys.